Since the early games beneath Apple Manor and rogue procedural generation of game models, levels and narrative has always fascinated game developers with its power to generate endless content through the use of well-researched mathematical models and algorithms. Virtual cities are the perfect application of these methods and the focus of this course. Hi, I'm Penny. I've been teaching computer game development, graphics and artificial intelligence for over 25 years. I've written numerous instructional books on programming, Unity and AI, and I'm here to teach you all about the programming technique I love the most, procedural generation of 3D virtual content. And hi, I'm Mike. I'm a 3D generalist with a focus on assets for games. Computing and gaming has been a major part of my life since way back in the 1980s. Now, I started off with Blender back in version 2.67, that's nearly eight years ago now, and I've enabled hundreds of thousands of students to bring their ideas, their assets to life. And it's a real honor seeing students take what's been taught, putting their own mark on it, and seeing the amazing games being developed from them. Together, we've put together this two-part course that will teach you how to create city buildings, streets and other features in the typical manner, as well as implement code that will dynamically model procedural buildings and then place them in procedurally generated city layouts. In part A, we're going to be starting with a series of projects that all build upon one another. We're going to start with placeholders, which are sorely overlooked when it comes to generating assets. These will make sure that you've got the form, the shape, the size all right before you start spending time on that detail. We'll then start adding detail to those models and then starting to think in a modular way. Thinking in a modular way is going to become critically important because after we've assembled our objects manually to get an idea of how we want them to go together, finally we will be using the geometry nodes in Blender 3.0 in order to put things together procedurally, which is going to be a lot of fun. And in part B, I'll take you through a variety of workshops using the Unity game development engine to teach you how to manipulate and position road models on a plane to create a city street map. Following this, algorithms will be worked through to create data structures to store city information and populate the city with residential, commercial and industrial buildings. The commonly used algorithms for Verona diagrams and Perl and Noise will be employed to calculate city zones and city populations densities. By the end of this course you would have covered a variety of methods that you can use in Blender and over in Unity to assist you in developing your own procedural game assets and your procedurally generated game worlds. Whether you decide to start with part A or part B you'll be fully covered in your learning journey in either Blender or Unity and emerge with a fresh new understanding of the power of procedural generation and its importance in both modeling and programming. So, so what, what are you, are you waiting, waiting for? for? Enroll, Enroll now. now.